caring for a geriatric dog, helping him down the stairs. Nicely done, Kim. Helping a geriatric dog up the stairs. Come on. Sometimes the rear end needs support. It helps if there's momentum. Taking your geriatric dog for a walk. Here he is defecating. And there he goes. Wait, you gotta show how to pick it up. Oh, this is how you pick it up. With a bag, turned inside out, and now turn it outside in. Nicely done, Kim. Nicely done. Sometimes your elderly dog while walking, may lean to the left on the rear end a little bit. Don't be alarmed. This is just how it is. We recommend walking your elderly dog on a leash. We're not using a leash here because we're trained professionals. But don't try this at home. Sometimes you'll notice your elderly dog limping. Don't be alarmed. This is a natural part of growing old. But it does mean that it's time to turn around and head back home. Be sure to give your elderly dog lots of time to sniff. To them it's like reading a newspaper. You may notice that your elderly dog has a loss of hearing. If he doesn't respond to your commands, a high-pitched loud command such as this sometimes helps. At the end of a walk, you'll notice your elderly dog seems a little tired. That's okay. Remind him that we're going home to eat dinner. If that doesn't work, try one of the high-pitched noises. Yeah! Yeah! There, that worked. It's feeding time. After the walk, look how excited he is. He is just filled with joy and apprehension. Today, we're giving him a half a can of food. This one has the uh, first half was eaten this morning for breakfast. This is the second half. So you scoop it into his bowl. Like that. Almost. Okay. But not yet. It's not time to eat yet. Why not? Marlon says. Because he also gets a half a cup of kibble. Half a cup. On the top of the food it goes. And now he knows. Okay. We have the rug there so he remains steady while eating. While he's eating, don't be alarmed if his back leg shakes. This is normal. Now that dinner's done, it's time for the extras. First, he gets one glucosamine treat. This is good for his hips. Careful that he doesn't take a finger with it. Look how happy he is. Next, one meaty bone. Again, being careful not to lose a finger. Here we're only giving him half. And stay out of his way, because he likes to eat it on his bed. Now he's getting the other half. Again, careful not to lose a digit. That's a happy fella. There may be times when you noticed your elderly dog 
is laying on one of his legs and is trying to get it out. Here's a simple solution. Just try this. Reach under the body, find the leg, and slowly pull it out. Now we've got two. And look how happy that made him. He's shy. There's only one last thing to do when caring for your elderly dog. Give him lots of love.